Because on Sunday night, when Peter Kelly helps a couple tie the knot after 20 years and seven children, Frank's DIY brides on Sunday at 8.30. But now, Shortland Street. I think someone might have a wee crush. Don't be stupid. She's an ex-student. I've known her for years. It's got to the point where I wake up every morning thinking about him and I don't stop. He must know by now that I love him. I didn't mean for it to happen, I just... That's enough. Not another word. I want you to leave. Scotty, please, I'm so confused. I'd need to talk Not to... Not to me. Not about this. But I thought I could tell you anything. Professionally, perhaps. But I don't care about your personal life. I can't believe you said that. I thought you'd understand. You of all people... Goodbye, Bernie. <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. Excuse me, I'm leaving. I'll try not to bother you ever again. What was that about? Don't ask. She looked kind of upset. Uh, boy talk. All right, I get it. I will see you upstairs. When did you two patch things up? Ah, uh, tonight. So, um, what was Bernie doing here? She just turned up, out of the blue. You didn't invite her? No. After you said people were gossiping, I told her to stop calling on me. I thought she got the message till today. First she turns up at work, then here. What you want? Advice. Same as always, next thing. She's confessing she's in love. Whoa. No way. I swear, I never encouraged her. She knows I'm happily married. Whatever's going on, it's in her head. You've got a big problem, man. No, I don't. You heard her. She's... She's never going to bother me. No, no, no. She said she'd try not to. That's as good as admitting. She can't help herself. So many people have seen you guys together. Bernie would just have to drop one wrong word in Shanti's air and... No, she wouldn't. She couldn't. Oh, look, if I were you, I'd make sure of that. Ooh, it's a long time since I set an exam, or so TK keeps reminding me. How's this study going? I'm a big distraction. But he doesn't seem to be too worried. He's managing to fit in some audio Italian lessons at the same time. No, oh, don't. I feel hopeless enough. Well, you'll be right. You made it through your first exam, so there's no reason why you I had a mentor. Through. A pretty amazing one. No longer available. Right, so you study better with someone else? I always have. At high school, I had the same best friend right through. She was the disciplined one. She used to drill me in every subject. That's how I got into med school. Right, and did she go with you? Her dad died during seventh form exams. She lost the plot. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it was. But then I found a new taskmaster at uni to keep me on track. But now I've washed up here, struggling on my own. Well, you could always buddy up with TK. Oh, I, I don't think so. Well, it makes sense. You're both sitting the prime X, and trust me, he knows how to crack a whip. You should have seen him trying to teach me how to make pasta. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Our schedules are all over the place. Ciao, amore. Mi si mancato molto. <laughs> uh, molto. He, um, he misses me much. Brava. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, um, mi sei mancato anche. Very good. Mm. You guys are good. Well, I tell you, he makes a great study, buddy. I was just saying to Brooke that um, you guys should buddy up for the Primex. That way I wouldn't distract you and she'd have some tail lights to follow. I pointed out our conflicting schedules. That would make it tricky, but um, let me look into it. Come on, just try it. I, I said no. What is it if you're worried about the hygiene? I'm with you, the king of antiseptic wipes. What is it then? Your wrist is sore, you're down to one hand, you need this. I just don't like things around my ears. Uh, same on a plane, you can forget your movie headsets. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> uh, no, you don't. Here at our Shortland Street Hospital, Yvonne speaking. I'm sorry, Dr. Warner is overseas until next week. Shall I take a message? Ah! Uh, what, what is it, what have you done? I'll get the phone again. Uh, are you there, caller? 
Hello? No, they're not there. Mum, what's happened? Have you pulled a muscle? I must have. I told her to wear the headset, but no, she had to jam it in her neck, spread the pain around. I'm all right. She's not. You do look uncomfortable. Maybe you should have stayed home. I will just stop fussing the pair of you. Just, just give me your stupid headset, Gerald. I'll live with the claustrophobia. Uh, discharge notes for Mrs. McKenzie. Oh, Deborah. Yeah, she's leaving this afternoon. I'm going to get you some painkillers. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm seeing my aunt. Can I talk to you first about last night? I can't. I said I'd be upstairs for the doctor's round. Later then. Are you free for lunch? One o'clock. I'll be at the cafe. Oh, and thanks, Scotty. I knew you wouldn't really turn your back on me. You may not be aware, but it's very difficult for new players to break into the funeral industry. Oh, I believe it. Word of mouth carries a lot of weight, especially at a time of bereavement. At Haldanes, we need to establish a reputation. And to do that, we need clients. Which is why we're offering these fantastic special deals on everything from cremations to eco-funerals. You won't find better value for money. I'm sure, and I'm more than happy to have your brochures slipped in with all the others. I was hoping for something a bit more than that. Some arrangement? We... <laughs> we're a public hospital, Mr. Haldane. <laughs> Sterling, please. Yes, well, it's DHB policy to treat all service providers equally. No preferential treatment. Libby. Mr. Yes. Haldane has some funeral brochures he'd like put in with the care of the deceased policy folders. Oh, no, that's too many. No, take them anyway. OK, uh, there's a folder on every ward and I'll pop the rest in admissions. Thanks. Except, could you put my brochures at the front of the folders? We're uh, new. Everything helps. <laughs> You look worried. Um, I was thinking about a patient. I was thinking about your primary exam. It's not long to go now. You don't have to remind me. Study not going so well? No, it's fine. Really? The other night you said you were missing my expert tuition. And you told me to get lost. No, I just thought you'd prefer Chris's help. But he's away. And if I'm being honest, I do miss giving you instruction. It was always such a pleasure. Forget it, Ethan. Even if I was desperate, I wouldn't turn to you. They're pretty tough exams. You might change your mind. Never. Well, call me if you do. Because I will get you through, you know that. I'm at your disposal any time. A new funeral company touting for business. Could you pop that in the drawer, please? Sure. Oh, so Nick. Uh, yeah, Maya's given me some paracetamol. I'm waiting for it to kick in. And it's not working. You should see a doctor. <gasps> With a pull muscle, don't be daft. What about the tingling in your arm? What tingling? Uh, there's a little bit just down here. Maybe I've pinched a nerve or something. It'll settle down. Sorry, I'm with Gerald on this one. You have had a bad fall. You should get any discomfort checked out. I kept it all that on the day. I don't want to be running back like some hypochondriac. I'll be fine. I'll get the brushes. Excuse me. Are you a theater nurse? Yes, I am. I can tell by the scrubs. Sterling Haldane. Hi, Morgan Braithwaite. Ma'am? Sure. Oh, I hope you don't mind me being so upfront, but I'm, uh, I'm visiting here. I'm a funeral director. Oh. With Haldane Funeral Home. We're a small family company. Just getting started. That's nice, I suppose. Oh, it is, believe me. I think I've got the best job in the world. I'm meeting Scotty here later. People will think I can't keep away from the place. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You are seeing a lot of him. He's wonderful, so easy to talk to, but I know I'm driving him crazy. <laughs> so why does he want to meet you for lunch? What's going on? I told him last night that I'm in love. He gave me that same look. Didn't want to hear about it. And this morning he's changed his mind. It's lovely of him, but it's too late. For what? Advice. I'm going to Central now. Tell Paul how I feel. Paul? Even if... Driscoll. He's one of my nurses. We're like Shanti and Scotty in reverse. Oh! I've... Never mind. <laughs> so, Paul is in love with you too? Or... I'm sure of it. He's just waiting for me to make the first move. Oh, well. Right there. Well, to me, it's about comforting people. Listening to them when they most need to be heard. That's so right. 
I was only 16 when my mum died. I knew exactly what she wanted, but no one would listen to me. I've never forgotten that helpless feeling. That would never happen at Haldane's. Can I, um, I leave these with you? Just for anyone who may need them. Sure. Of course, there'd be a fee for any positive referrals. Just, uh, leave me their names and... No, I could never take money. Not for this. Oh, I wouldn't want you to think I was taking advantage. <laughs> but the offer's there, okay? I think I'd do very well at this. Cameras seem to like me. It's not exactly a screen test. No, but it can't hurt to look good. Examiners are only human. Hmm. Even in my day, when they sat in on a consult, it paid to scrub up. Patients respond very well to that touch of professionalism. Well, they can take me as I am. I'm either a capable GP or I'm not. Capable? You are a star, and so you should be with all that effort I put into training you. <laughs> So, how's the study going? I'm on track, mate. I just need to get these consults onto DVD. So if we're done, I have a patient waiting. Yeah, you go for it. Whack. I wish you'd been here to train me. Why, are you feeling unprepared? I could do with a little extra help, especially from the best GP in the business. Oh, I wish I had time to help. I really do. But uh, there's always TK. Mm. Come on, you had your issues, but uh, they're behind you now. Yeah, I, I just don't find TK very approachable. Brooke, get over it. You work together, you're sitting the same exam and he is confident. You couldn't wish for a better learning opportunity. You're right. TK's my best bet. I will ask him. Good. Yes, I'll make sure that message is passed on. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Is the tingling worse? I can't feel my thumb. The whole side of my hand is numb. Now I'm really worried. Can you please go and see a doctor? Oh, Kip gave me the all clear. He was very thorough. Yvonne, you're back at work. I'm so glad. Uh, so am I. I go loopy stuck at home. How's the wrist? Uh, hardly even notice it now. Uh, I see that Deborah is uh, being discharged today. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. She gets so distressed when she's moved around. It's always a fight. Oh, can I help? No! Look, there's far too much work down here and I really can't spare you. No, it's OK. I can manage. I'm used to it. But thanks. You're very kind. Look, I'm sorry, OK? But I just couldn't let you get involved. Not after last time. I just feel so bad for him. He's their only caregiver. Oh! What? Oh! Oh, my neck. I can't move it. Gerald! Oh! There she is. Well, you know what you have to do? Get straight to the point. Be brutal. I still can't believe this is happening. Go. Hi. Hi. I'm not going to muck around. About last night. I'm sorry. I said too much. I wish I hadn't. Can we just forget the whole thing? Do you really mean that? Uh, you're not going to come knocking on my door again? No, I promise you. It's all just a terrible mistake. I'm sorry. I'm never behind with the power bill. Only my flatmate did a run of was at your place and left me with the whole thing. I couldn't manage that in the rent, so... They're threatening to cut off your power. It's a pretty big bill, and it's weeks late. Can you pay it on credit card? It's blown out from the Sydney trip. Morgan, why did you buy me that shirt? I wanted to. Anyway, as soon as I get another flatmate, I'll be okay. The power bill needs paying now. Do you know how much it is? <sighs> Jeez Louise. I was going to offer to pay this, but... No way! Maybe I should find them and see if they have a drip system. No, no, I can do that. I should have already. What's that? Oh, um... I met one of the owners at the CAF, Sterling Haldane. He asked if I pass them on. A funeral director drumming up business in a hospital. That's sick. No, he was really sweet. He totally understood why I was so upset about Mum's funeral. You told him a story. He was that kind of person. Sensitive, a good listener. Yeah, and a trained salesman. No. Yes, I use the same method to try and get people to sell multi-lane. I listened to them, I empathised with them, and then I reeled them in with the promise of easy cash. Actually... He, he did offer me a commission. Well, I hope you said no. Of course. How could you even ask me that? You're broke and you're carrying his brochure in your bag. Because I believed what he said about helping people. 
Do you honestly think I could use people's grief to make a fast buck? No. Others could, but not you. Well, where's TK? He's with a patient. Maybe I should wait. He is my regular doctor and I'd rather see him. It's your choice, but he's heavily booked and you do seem to be in considerable pain. <sighs> my neck is killing me. Well then? I suppose you better take a look. Oh, you don't mind, do you? I need to record this for my GP's practice assessment. Oh? Camera on... now. So, Yvonne, how can I help you today? Sharon, I'm very sorry about your father. It was time, but that doesn't make it any easier. What happens now? Well, you or someone in your family will need to contact a funeral home. And I fully recommend this firm, Haldane Funeral Home. They're marvellous. They're a family company, and the service is very personal. And it's what you want at a time like this. Okay. Now, it's clear from your films that you have a C5, C6 cervical disc herniation. Is that serious? Well, the only permanent cure is surgery, but... On my neck. My spine. Are you sure? Does the thought of that worry you? Very much. If there was any other way. Well, I, I can treat the pain with selective nerve root blocks. That's an effective long-term option. So I don't really need an operation? As I said, that's, that's the permanent cure. Pain management is ongoing, but it's far less invasive, with no risk attached. I can start you on that straight away, if you'd like. If you don't mind, I'd like to talk this through with TK. Of course. It's always good to get a second opinion. Can I go now? Um, I'll, I'll put you in a support collar first and prescribe some anti-inflammatories that should make you more comfortable until you see your own GP. Thank you. Sure. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'm in big trouble. What's happened? I ignored your advice. I told Paul how I felt. And? He's married. No. How could you not know that? I thought you were close. So did I. He was always so warm, so friendly. We both like Robbie Williams and chicken kebabs. But now he's furious at me. He hates me. Why? You simply misunderstood his signals. Well, my timing wasn't great. I was halfway through his performance review when I told him I loved him. Well, you're not serious. He's laying a formal complaint. Sexual harassment. Bernie, what the heck were you thinking? I wasn't. I just felt the surge of affection, of passion. For a married man whose career advancement you held in your hand, you must see how that looks. I already have two written warnings on my file. I don't know what to do. Did you have lunch with Scotty if you told him about this? No. I mean, I saw him, but I couldn't... You won't say anything, will you? I'm so ashamed. I doubt he could help anyway. Maybe the best thing I can do is see Paul again. No, to... no, no. Stay right away from him. It'll only make things worse. What can I do then? <sighs> I'm going to lose my job, aren't I? Over a stupid, one-sided infatuation. Sell. I heard you. I was there. Miss Cross asked for a recommendation. My cousin used Halday Funeral Home. She raved about them. What cousin? Who died? That's none of your business. It is if you're getting paid by Sterling Haldane. Who? He offered me the same deal. Commission on every referral to their funeral home. I don't know what you're talking about and I don't want to know. I'm sorry. In the middle of a performance review? That, that's harassment. Not if she spoke to Bernie. She just forgot herself, who she was, where she was. She's in the wrong job. Well, maybe, but it's not unusual to fall for a colleague, is it? You've done it three times. But I was no one's boss. Well, I am. I feel sorry for her. I could see how easily it could happen. Really? Who have you got the hots for? No one. Are you sure? No cute little nurse keeping you awake at night? Absolutely. 
Absolutely not. I was talking about Bernie. Oh, well, I think you're wasting your sympathy. She's in a complete mess over a married man. It's all her own doing, and the worst is yet to come. I mean... Are you looking for to... something to do, Tanya? No, I'm flat out. I leave those results for you to file. Sure. So feel okay? Yes, thank you. I'm so glad you haven't switched on that camera. I didn't enjoy being filmed. With Brooke? You could have refused consent. Could I? What happened so fast? It doesn't matter. So, was she right about my neck? You have a C5, C6 cervical disc herniation. I recommend surgery as soon as possible. Well, Brooke said I didn't need it. She said the pain could be managed with nerve blocks or something. Well, I could, but that would only mask the symptoms. It wouldn't solve the problem. And you'd be medication dependent for the rest of your life just to get up in the morning. She never put it like that. Well, you told Brooke you were anxious about surgery. She was focusing on the positives of pain management. But in the long run... What would you do? I'd have the op. Oh, that's saying something. You're usually all for alternative therapies. Mm. But it is your decision, Yvonne, and it needs to be an informed one. So let me refer you to Ethan Pierce, and he can discuss the procedure with you, and then you can talk it up with your family, OK? OK. But do you think you could run me through it all first? I feel I can ask stupid questions when it's to you. Let me grab the textbook. <laughs> we can ask stupid questions together. OK. Yes, what is it? I need help with my primates exams. From me? Surely not. Don't play games. You offered. I'm taking you up on it. I thought you could manage on your own. I was wrong. I can't. And Callum is too busy to give me the time of day. So I'm your second choice. Last choice. <laughs> I love it when you're straightforward. It means I can be the same. What do you want, Ethan? Come closer. First, I will get you through these exams with flying colours. I know. In return, all you have to do is exactly what I want when I want it. Do we have a deal? Say it. Yes, Ethan. We have a deal. I'll do whatever you want. And there's more from Shortland Street at a quarter to twelve tomorrow morning, but be sure not to miss it. It's our last trip to Ferndale until September.